Juris Banes, Roman Travian Let's Play, Episode 1. So, Travian, three times over on Comex, the international domain. It starts in roughly 51 minutes. I'm going to bring some guides on how to play it. Just a little about myself now. Um, I've been playing since 2007, maybe late 2006. I've won probably two World Wonder servers myself, but as of late I haven't really been playing for World Wonder. It kind of bore me a little bit. Uh, so I created an alliance a few years ago. It's called the Turnip Farmers. Anyone on the international speed server would probably know it as it's been there pretty much every server since we started playing. It's a small group of players that like to have fun, attack a lot of people, get attacked a lot. Sometimes we get destroyed, but a lot of the times we succeed in our goal, which is ruining the chances of our quadrant actually building a world wonder. It's a lot of fun and the last tournament server I played, I finished rank 3 overall attacker. That was pretty nice and I got some nice permanent shiny medals for my profile, which we'll see once the video starts. Pretty much it from me. Usually I finish within the top 10 in offense. Maybe top 20 sometimes, depends how hard I play. It's all for good fun and hopefully you can learn a thing or two from me. Uh, just to go over one last thing, this guide uses a bit of gold at the start of the server. It's basically focused on getting the maximum income you get as quick as humanly possible. So it uses a bit more gold at the start, but it does taper off after the first few weeks. As you know, the first few days on the server are absolutely crucial. You really want to maximize your income on those first few days. So, nine minutes left. Going to be using a friend's link to actually register my account, so we'll be about three minutes late into the server, but it will give him 50 gold. Okay, so I have our friend's link, and now we will choose our server, and time to register. Now time to log in. We're about four minutes slow, but it's all good. Romans. And we are going in the northeast quadrant. Okay, so we're going to do the tutorial. We're just going to quickly run through it here. Save with the help feature. There we go. Open advisor. Yep. There we go. Should have a clay fit level one now. There we go. And basically we're just going to follow all the quests at the moment, so I'll be back soon. Okay, so at the point of we're sending our hero on our adventure, a little tip here is send it to the furthest away one first, 39 minutes away one, because it's going to arrive there instantly. So you're cutting off 39 minutes of time really. It's much more effective. We only have to wait 39 minutes now, instead of 80 minutes, and we get ointment on our first adventure. So right now we're up to heal our hero. We're just going to spam in one ointment. I've bought gold as well. Just bought 600 for the time being. Still just going through our adventures. Collecting our rewards. Sorry, not adventures, tutorial. The end of the tutorial. Now we can do our tasks. So we're going to view statistics. We're just going to quickly change our name of the village. More resources. So I've got down here on the desktop some calculations here. Lumber, clay and crop are the cheapest ones and iron is a bit dearer so we're going to do the lumber, clay and crop before we actually do the iron ones first because it's going to maximise our income so it doesn't matter which order we do these and we're actually going to gold them because we want to get the most possible quickly. 
We're also going to change our hero back to balanced. I'm just going to spam through these quickly. Collect our awards so we've got enough resources. Sorry about the Skype messages and stuff like that. If they come up. We're going to spam our main building to three as well. So we'll cut down our construction times a little bit when we're AFK. We're actually just going to rush through this. So, as I said, it's spanning a bit of gold, but the higher your resource fields, quicker, the more resources you get earlier in the game. And that's what the start is all about resources, resources, resources. So, just keep going and going through those. And we've got our 25 pluses. And we've spammed out all level ones already. Which has been great. Now we're going to go to the granary. I'm actually going to pop up another warehouse level 2. Just like getting level 3 warehouse is a task later on. We're going to spam out the market as well. And another level on the granary. Gives us a lot of lumber there. So we have resources to work with to two, so we're gonna go and do that. Again, we've got the calculation to level two here. So lumber and crop are the cheapest ones here, so we're gonna start with them ones and then get a clay and then an iron. I've already got one lumber and one clay, so spam spam. Making sure we do not do not max no matter what. If we max then yeah. See so stuff done. So we're gonna do a trade. Just gonna enter in one one and we're just gonna cancel it straight away because you don't need to actually trade. We've got those resources and now we have the warehouse three task. I'm gonna jump that and we're gonna go granary level 3 as well because that's coming up and also main building level 5 is coming up soon too. Be careful not to max as well because it gets close. to two now and construct an embassy I don't know if our alliance is set up so let me just go talk on sky so I've just got a message which is good it says you've actually received an invitation to an alliance so I've decided to build that embassy level up and we're just gonna chuck on let's get our level three two costs up and lumber was the cheapest so we're gonna go with a lumber field I'm gonna spam that out and we're gonna complete this course this uh, task sorry Struck the embassy, main building five, and now we're going to join the alliance. We've joined that alliance, and now we're going to smack out our residents here. Yeah. We've got task rewards here, and I'll be back soon once the residence is done. So we're going to collect our rewards for embassy and seat of government, which is why we're building the residence. It's going to give us a lot of a lot of resources here. I won't max, so I'm going to collect those as well. So we know what we're working with next. Culture points as well gives a lot of resources. So we're going to start spamming through some lumber fields now to get all to two. So these are my medals from the tournament server. We've got rank three offense and rank nine defense. So it's pretty good.